Welcome, my name is Dan Yukon, President of Essential Life Solutions. I would like to thank you for watching this video to demonstrate the differences between our FPLC columns and a comparable device. We're hoping by the end of this video that you will also be able to see the fundamental differences between our columns and others on the market today. Thanks, and let's get started with the demo. What we want to do today is to demonstrate the fundamental differences between these two columns. The black column is our product at Essential Life Solutions. This is our Econoline column, which is our most popular column, and the one we recommend for most FPLC applications. The other column, the red one, is a commonly used product on the market. First and foremost, we believe at Essential Life Solutions that linear motion of the piston is a good key to good chromatography. In the case of trying to move a piston in a movable piston column, two methodologies can be employed. The first is that on our comparative column, we will be turning a screw. As you can see in the video, the nut is fixed and only the piston is moving. As the piston is moving in and out, we are actually turning the piston. This creates a problem with the pack bed. As we come down onto our pack bed, what is going to happen is we are going to be scraping the resin surface. Furthermore, if we decide to mechanically compress the bed, what we're going to be doing is inducing a torsional load through the resin beads. Now, on our essential life column, we've taken a different approach. What we have done is chosen to turn the nut and not the screw. As the nut is turning, the piston is moving in a true axial fashion. As the piston comes down on the pack bed, we're going to be compressing the bed in a true axial fashion and not disturbing the bead bed. We believe this will give much better chromatography. This is the most important feature, we believe, and gives added value to our product. The second feature is that all Essential Life lab columns have true redrawn glass. What does this mean? In the case of our comparative column, the glass is wavy on the inside diameter and is not precise. This creates a number of issues in the process of chromatography. The first is that there is a wall effect produced as the liquid is running through the column because the glass is not the same diameter all the way through its length. Secondly, there is a need for an external o-ring adjuster to make up for this lack of precision. The o-ring can be tightened differently between scientists. It can be over tightened or under tightened depending on the end user. It is a very subjective process. In the case of the ELS columns, we are using a true precision bore glass which means the glass is manufactured in such a way that is redrawn over a mandrel so that it is within a tolerance of three one thousandths of an inch over the length of the column. This is true rifle bore quality glass. The redrawing creates a thicker wall giving the column a much more robust design and increasing the pressure tolerance. This particular column, which is a one centimeter column, has a pressure rating for up to 80 bar or about 1000 psi, which is almost pushing the limit of a stainless steel column of comparable size. This may enable the scientist to use a smaller diameter or higher performance resin, thus producing better chromatography results. If your pressure needs are not this high, the column still provides a much more robust design, making column breakage almost a non-issue. This precision eliminates the need for an o-ring adjuster, so there is no need to worry about over or under tightening. The next difference we'd like to point out is the packing adapter. The way the comparative packing adapter is installed is that it is screwed onto the end of the column. As you can see, it is relatively easy to install. One drawback we have observed with this packing reservoir is that the diameter is much larger than the diameter of the column. As your slurry passes into the column, there's going to be a turbulent flow which will cause uneven settling of the bed. This is not the proper way to pack a column. With the ELS column, however, we also offer packing adapter which is very simple to install. The packing adapter is the same diameter as the column, so the resin goes to settle into the column there is no diametrical difference between one column and another, which gives much more uniform and evenly packed bed. Another item we'd like to point out is that on the comparative column, there is a coarse thread on the piston. What does this mean to the chromatographer? The coarse thread is important to point out because it is much cheaper to manufacture the piston, thereby making the column less expensive to produce. The downside is that for every turn of the piston, there is a much greater linear movement into the packed bed thereby not allowing for fine adjustment of piston position. With our ELS columns, we have gone to a machine thread which has a much finer thread pitch, 
So with every turn of the adjustment knob, there is a much finer adjustment coming into the pack bed, allowing the scientist to more accurately adjust the pistons. Additionally, all ELS columns have a double piston configuration. To get the double piston option with our comparative column, there is a significant upcharge. The next part we would like to point out is the fritz. On our comparative column, the fritz are simply a nylon sock that is capped off on the end of the piston and behind it is a plastic mesh. This mesh does not allow for any flow distribution onto the packed bed. Also, they are prone to pop off during high flow circumstances and are a nuisance to use with the column. The ALS columns, on the other hand, use what we consider to be a true frit. The frit is made of a porous material and various porosities. Due to the thickness of the frit, as the liquid passes through, there is much greater flow distribution. Another very important point we would like to make is on our comparative column, the inlet and outlet connections are made internally on the column, thereby not allowing the chromatographer visibility of where any leak has originated from if there is one. This could be a problem during a long run. If a leak is not detected, a substantial amount of mobile phase or valuable injection of material may be wasted. On the ELS columns, the connections are made externally, giving the chromatographer visibility if there is a leak. All of our connections are 1 quarter 28. Some HPLC systems use M6 fittings, so all of our columns come standard with M6 adapters. So they can be used with virtually any HPLC system. This is much the same as a childproof medicine bottle. One quarter turn easily disassembles the column. Once the quarter turn is made, the column quickly comes apart. You just turn it back and it will snap together back in place and it locks in. The comparative column, on the other hand, uses a threaded end, which is a little more effort to assemble and disassemble. That sums up the features and benefits of our, of our Econoline lab scale columns. They are available in solvent resistant and aqueous buffer versions from 5 to 50 millimeter in diameter in volumes up to 1 liter. We hope this video has helped you understand the differences between the industry standard or the norm and what we are offering which we believe is a much better product with enhanced technology, giving the user a much better experience, saving time and improving results. Thank you for your time and we hope to hear from you soon.